Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Motorhome TV. Welcome back. Still to come, a look at the high-tech Hymer Dynamic line. Located in the heart of Kent, Broad Henry Caravan and Camping Park is a great base for exploring the English countryside, packing in some shopping or even heading off to the continent. The campsite is divided into two specific sections, each with a very different feel. The Meadows is an adults only area, with an open field at the top end offering grass pitches with electric hookup as well as a series of half-standing gravel pitches, eight of which are fully serviced with electricity, fresh water, a drainage point, and grass areas around the pitch with a picnic table for those wishing to dine al fresco. On the other side of the park, safely behind these security gates, is the family area. Even on a wintry Monday afternoon, when our cameras paid a visit, there's still plenty to keep the children occupied, from swings to a climbing frame and a football pitch, plus a technology-free playroom. Our games room went non-electronic about eight years ago uh, for two reasons, really. Um, firstly, it's what a lot of families seem to like to come away and get their kids away from the gadgets and um, to have some family time together. But also, um, truly, it's hard to compete with some of the, the games and, and video games that, that the children now have on their devices. But competing with technology is exactly what Broad Hembury does best. There's intentionally no clubhouse on site, so guests can get back to nature and enjoy some of the simpler things in life. It's just the ambience of the place, it's just nice and tranquil and relaxing. There's no clubhouse on here, but then so it depends, it's your genre, what you like, you know, some people like to go to campsite because you've got a buzzing uh, clubhouse and that, and some people just like tranquility, and I think that's the main attraction of the place here, is the, the tranquility. Lee, Sally and the team are absolutely fantastic. It's really clean, it's friendly. Um, and it's just in a perfect space. It, the surroundings is lovely, very quiet and peaceful. And the facilities in each of the two areas are of an excellent standard. The washrooms are clean and spacious and have the added luxury of underfloor heating all year round. While the camper's kitchen benefits from a microwave, freezer, washing machine and tumble dryer, plus multiple washing up stations. We also have the family bathroom in addition to the standard gents and ladies facilities. There's a full bath in there, a separate shower, a toilet. Sometimes it's easy if you're coming with several children and you'd like to decamp into the bathroom after a day at the beach and get desanded, then it's a really convenient facility to use. Other amenities on site include a small shop stocking pretty much anything that any motor caravaner could ever ask for, including local wines, books and DVDs to borrow. Plus, there's Wi-Fi available for a small fee. And you can even invite friends down to stay with you if needs be, because there are several holiday homes available for rent on the family side of the park. Each of these has full kitchen facilities and comfortable sleeping arrangements. Off-site, if you don't fancy taking the van with you, there's a bus stop just a 15-minute walk from the park gates, plus plenty of local taxi firms. Locally, there's a whole heap of attractions, from Dover Castle to Leeds Castle via Canterbury and the wonderful Howlett's Wild Animal Park. Often people may come for a, a longer stay, a week or two weeks, and during that time pop over to Paris or Brussels for a couple of days using the Eurostar from Ashford. We're only 10 minutes from Ashford train station, so you can either park a car there or get a taxi, depending on, on what suits. Um, if you're not if you haven't travelled from London or that side of England and you want to visit London whilst you're here, then you can get the fast train up to London St Pancras and be there in 39 minutes. So it's an exceptionally good service. Three of those trains leave Ashford every hour. So it's, it's very convenient. 
One last point worth making about Broad Hembury is that there are full facilities for cleaning your motorhome, along with chemical and grey water disposal. Plus, there are full recycling facilities for all the empties that you manage to collect on your travels. Um, I'd recommend this part to anybody because I've never had any, I've been coming here for seven years now. I've never had any trouble at all. The owners are very, very nice and I just like the tranquility of it. Do you have, you can get your daily bread here, which they do bread run every day, so you can get that. Toilets are absolutely gorgeous, heated. <laughs> heated shower rooms, bathrooms are fantastic. You've got great laundry facilities. And up today you've come on a cold day as such, but in the summertime it's the most beautiful place on earth and all the blossoms on the tree. It's just so nice and peaceful and I can recommend it to anybody. Now a Hymer A-Class is a beautiful thing and the latest iteration of the B-Class, the dynamic line is certainly beautiful indeed. In fact it's a Hymer on a diet because it's been completely re-engineered to bring in vans that are well under the 3,500 kilogram threshold so anyone can drive this kind of van on a standard car license. So this whole thing has been completely reimagined from the ground up. Just take a look at this front end. There's a brand new radiator grille, two windscreen wipers instead of Hymer's normal three, and take a quick squiz at those headlights. This headlight is in fact multifunction. Yes, it's a daytime running light, but also an indicator. Very clever indeed, as well as weight saving. And it's that weight saving theme that you'll see all over this particular range. As I said, this new range has been completely re-engineered and that includes from the chassis upwards. They've made certain economies, they've retained the strength, but they've taken out some weight. But obviously one of Hymer's signature features, the rather large rear garage with a loading capacity of 350 kilograms will still feature on a vehicle like this. Now for some motorhomes, 350 kilograms is the overall user payload. Here it's just for the rear garage. Now Hyman knows a thing or two about user friendliness, so it's not surprising to see one of these amazing service hatches on the side of the vehicle, offering easy access to some of the plumbing and the leisure battery. Now this particular model is the B-Class Dynamic Line 588, which is a four berth with four travel seats. There's a pair of twin single beds at one end and another drop down double up here. Now it's a very sociable seating group because it's relatively short at seven meters. It doesn't have the side sofa here that you would find on a longer van, but still nonetheless, very agreeable. Two people can sit in the rotated cab seats with another two here around the table, all very sociable, bringing the family together. Now, all the clever stuff I mentioned earlier about saving the weight was a long drawn out process that took Hymer many months indeed. They looked at particularly every aspect of the construction, every little component and its effect on the overall weight. For example, overhead lockers and all the cabinet work were completely reassessed. These articulated handles were completely redesigned to save weight. The fixings inside the cupboards redesigned also to save weight. And even the way the doors are hung in door frames and the connections and attachments made were completely re-evaluated. And talking of the cupboards, everything has been very well engineered. They close with a very pleasing action. Just check that out, very good indeed. And further evidence of that level of engineering can be found in the kitchen. Just look at these drawers operating on a similar principle. Again, all redesigned and closing with a very reassuring click. The kitchen equipment in this particular van, a UK friendly oven and grill, separate of course. And next to that, an oblong sink with a very smart mono block tap. Even somewhere to put your dishcloth and maybe your scrubbing brush. And just behind the kitchen is this rather elegant washroom. There's plenty of space inside and wooden duckboards on the floor for the shower tray. There's a shower attachment and just behind that some rails to dry clothes on. All very good. There's a pleasing vanity unit on the wall and underneath that Hymer's signature loo roll holder which allows you to post it through while keeping it discreetly out of view. Now here in the rear bedroom, you can see that comfort was a major priority alongside all the weight saving. Check out these commodious beds with cold foam mattresses, a little mirrored section in the middle, a window on either side and up above a roof light. And the ambient lighting is spot on too. There are also five overhead lockers for storage. And as well as that, there's a clever cubby down here, which is in fact a laundry basket.
In addition to the large wardrobe under the offside bed, there's another one here next to the fridge, a hanging rail at the top and a couple of shelves underneath. And all that storage is in addition to hidden cubbies in the double floor. And yes, of course, this van is fully winterized. Now, safety was one of the other motivations behind this new design. And up here in the cab, you can see that in evidence. You have ESP, Hill Holder, and Traction Plus, all very good to give you reassurance when you're on the road. And Heimat has added in a couple of other clever touches here in the cab too. You have a reversing camera that you can obviously look behind the vehicle, but you can switch it between two other views. So you can actually get the camera to look down the back of the vehicle, very handy when you're backing onto something, and also the wastewater pipe, there's a camera on that, because you can actually release it from the cab, and having the visual confirmation that the tank is empty and emptying is very handy indeed. Chock full of innovation, the Heimer B-Class Dynamic Line is a worthy refresh of a much-loved classic. And this 588 model with its fixed twin single beds and overcab double should be very popular with discerning touring couples. Now there's lots to recommend in this van, the safety and obviously also the comfort and the weight reductions are very welcome, so I think Heimer has really succeeded. So if you have £85,000 burning a hole in your pocket for the particular specification we've looked at today, then I'm sure you will very much enjoy this kind of van on tour. For everyone else, however, we'll just have to wait for all this amazing innovation to trickle down the ranges. Sadly, that's all we've got time for on this week's show. We'll be back soon with some more motorhome and site reviews, plus technical tips from our expert, Diamond Dave. In the meantime, you can keep in touch with us via our website, Facebook, or Twitter. Until next time then, tour safe and take care. Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Motorhome TV.